great escape to Cambodia. There's a food revival underway as the country rediscovers the traditional cooking that was lost during the years of famine under the Khmer Rouge rule. I've received a royal summons to cook an old-style Cambodian dinner at the end of the week. So I'm going cross-country to scour the land for dishes that are worthy of this great honour. Bootha? Hi, good. How are you, sir? Getting around Cambodia's back roads will take more than a sat-nav, so I've hired local driver, Bootha. Maybe not so close to the truck. I mean, I can see the uh, whiskers on the driver. OK. <laughs> Excellent. First stop on my foodie safari is to try one of Cambodia's favourite street foods, and Bootha knows where they serve the best. It's the baby duck eggs, the one to be a Baby snack. duck eggs? Yes. Hello. Yeah. And what's so special about the duck eggs? <laughs> Make man have power. And it's good for your sex life? Yeah, hello. Bootha, duck egg every day for power. You randy little bastard. Uh, unbelievable. Right, should we try them? Duck egg Viagra, this I've got to see. Salt, pepper, uh, lemon. Jesus, it's like we're doing tequila shots. I've had duck eggs before, but I can't wait to find out what makes these so special. Oh, please. The yeah, water is still good. We've got the body in there. There's the body in there. I can't believe Bootha wants me to eat an unborn baby duck. And then you eat that? Yes, horsing. Are you fucking crazy? <laughs> not so crazy. It's just and not a big part of that. That's good for your sex life. Yeah. Tasty. Mm. It's nice, fresh. How old was that? 20 days. 20 days. Yeah. It actually tastes better than it looks. <laughs> yes. It looks disgusting, but it actually tastes quite nice. <laughs> Anything happening downstairs? Um, Pekka. Not yet. Just, not yet. Yeah. Let on, let on. This is a real insight. It was easier to swallow than it looked. I'm looking forward to what Bootha has in store for me next.